Hello, greetings from the future. This is Superboy issue 1 million. The 1 millionth issue of Superboy. It's part of the DC 1 million event. And you can assume what you need an art from the title. It's about the future. Uh, this, this is a Superboy of the 853rd century. And I really like this idea. They have fused Superboy with Jack Quimby's Big Mac character. Uh, we saw this version of Superboy briefly in the Super Mega Hyper Time storyline. And I really like this concept. I think, honestly, I'd love to read more about this iteration of Superboy. Uh, this is the usual creative team of Callum Kessel and Wallace Gromit. And they sort of weave this into the ongoing series a bit. Uh, and even doing this, using the Jack Quimby character as a basis, it marries quite nicely with the ongoing where they're doing stuff with Jack Quimby's Project Pegasus and Gladiator and Dubstep and things like that. So this, this is the future and this Superboy, he is the one millionth clone of Superboy created by Project Pegasus. And obviously he has got the Big Mac powers and here he has gone to investigate the appearance of Summit in the Arctic. And right, you know how Gladiator, he's like a total Captain America ripoff. Well, it was Gladiator. He has been frozen in the ice ever since the 21st century, just like Captain America was. I didn't mean to pick fault, but I'm pretty sure that the ice would not preserve someone for that long. That's like 83,000 years. He definitely would not survive, but hey, it's a dumb comic book idea, so who cares? Uh, as you can see, there are some other clones of Superboy, but none of them are really anywhere near as intriguing as the Big Mac Superboy. So Gladiator, he is fine and barely even inconvenienced by this bullshit. And this leads us to an advert for some cartoons and then to a flashback to the good old days of 1998. And Superboy's ongoing series by Callum Kessel and Wallace Gromit. Superboy, he is at Project Pegasus. And we are introduced to the woman who works there with stupid earrings. Uh, we've seen a lot of her already. And Superboy and her, they do some flirting. And we get a lot of seeding stuff and setting up plot lines and introducing characters for the ongoing. And I do wonder... I wonder if people who were getting the ongoing, if they missed this issue, if they'd feel a bit confused. Uh, then we have got an advert for Spiral the Dragon that you've got to turn sideways, which makes me sad because it reminds me of a dead pet that I loved with all my heart. Uh, Project Pegasus, it gets attacked by a deadly viral infection. Uh, this was featured in the DC 1 million crossover. And since Project Pegasus is like the big genetics research lab, it really does make sense to explore that part of the crossover through this tie-in. Uh, though they do seem to be trying to cram far too much into this one shot. Uh, and then we've got a whole other part still to come where Superboy, he gets to team up with the Superman from the 853rd century. Uh, this Superman, uh, he was great, really enjoyed his character and it's nice to see him and Superboy meet up here and they team up to try and halt this virus. And holy Polaris, Batman, it is a big double splash page teasing various future Superboy events like... I don't know any of them. Uh, I think I think there's a vague reference there to the Super Mega Hyper Time one. And the rest are just not really clear. Like, we have got Knockabout there, who is gorgeous. And she was really what your eyes straight away can do. 
Uh, then we have got New Justice there and Shark Man. So then Superboy and Future Superman, they're trying to stop this disease from doing whatever it was going to do. And the two plots, they intersect because Big Mac Superboy, he is in the future and he is watching what is happening through time and space. And he lends his Big Mac powers across time and space to go back in time and space. So that Superboy now has enough power to defeat the virus. After this, we do see a bit more of Big Mac Superboy. He's in the new Justice tie-in one. And I think he's got a few other scattered appearances. Uh, obviously, that one story we've already seen him in. He was in that as well. Uh, and we end with some major developments for Project Pegasus. They are deciding they're going public. Because a secret government research lab will seem a lot less terrible to the American public if they come out of the shadows having cured that future plague. Definitely recommend this. It's an issue of Superboy and most of them are definite recommends. Uh, this one does have a bit of a disappointment in that I want to see much more of this Big Mac version of Superboy. I think he's an interesting composite who deserved more page time. I rate this issue, uh, oh, I could, I could rate it a novelty rating of 1 million thumbs up, but that would really fuck up my average, so I'll just rate it a 7 thumbs up instead.